Yeah, since he knows everything, bringing you that heat, that fire. We keeping the foot on the whoop on the Knicks. We keeping the foot on the whoop on the Knicks. Let's talk about it. Okay. How can people sit here and say that Terrence Crawford is going to be the one to stop Earl Spence, right? Here's my thing. And this is where we really need to go from reality to dodo headness. So let me say it again. Reality versus dodo headishness. What's reality? Reality is Earl the True Spence has sent fighters to the hospital. Reality is Earl the True Spence has punished fighters. Reality is Earl the True Spence has visible proof and visible evidence. There's a footprint. You know, in this world, everything is digital. So there's a digital footprint. There's a digital evidence of Earl the True Spence punishing guys, of Earl the True Spence dismantling guys. Of Earl the True Spence washing guys. Of Earl the True Spence retiring guys. Do we get this from the barking, rah, 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 the chihuahua barking behind the damn fence? Let me say it again. Do we get this from the, rah, 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 the chihuahua barking behind the damn fence? We don't get it from Terrence Buck Crawford. There's no visible proof. Guys that have fought Terrence Buck Crawford has gone on to have long boxing careers. Jose Benavidez. Jeff Horn, Gail Brook, Sean Porter. They fought so many fights after the fact. Now, Sean Porter and Kell Brook is because of Earl the True Spencer's damage. But Terrence Buck Crawford didn't inflict no damage on them. So they were able to still continue on with their careers. The only person who really sustained punishment on them was Earl the True Spence. And that's the commonality. So when people say Terrence Crawford is going to stop Earl the True Spence, but the evidence tells you otherwise, stop the presses and pump the brakes on the nonsense and go sit down somewhere and what? Higgity fucking hush. When it's all said and done, it makes absolutely no sense. It's dodo headish behavior. It's dodo headish language. And really, it just tells you these people are Rudy fucking boos. Plum plum fucking brains. Classic fucking dotes. Troglo fucking dykes. Ultra fucking fanboys and ultra fucking fangirls with the ultra fucking fanboys and the ultra fucking fangirl rhetorics. I mean, when we really look at the delineation, the distinction, the golf and the separation, one guy is really tactically aggressing fighters. One guy is really technically placing his pu uh, punching his placement and punishing guys. And one guy is really body snatching working fighters. He's giving people an 11 onslaught of a punishment style. His name is Earl, the truth, Spence. So let's focus on like the series that I do, reality check and not ultra fanboy rhetoric hearsay. Let me say it again. Let's focus on like the series that I got going on, reality check outside of ultra fanboy rhetoric. That's the cool hearted, that's the unadulterated, that's the cutthroat truth teller fashion. So recap. When we look at everything, we have to ask ourselves the underlying questions and the underlying truths. And what is that? Earl the True Spence has got a situation where Earl the True Spence has visible and tangible digital proof that he has punished guys. He has sent guys to the hospital. But Terrence Buck Crawford, the barking, rah, rah, the chief, wah, wah, barking behind the damn vents, has no proof of that. So when people say Terrence Buck Crawford is going to stop Earl the True Spence, it's really project projection on the fact that Earl the True Spence is going to stop Terrence Buck Crawford. I keeps the foot on the whoop on the uh, Knicks. I keeps the foot on the whoop on the uh, Knicks. This is He Knows Everything. Checking out.